Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, with the release announcement of the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max, Apple introduced their own twist to the punch hole display, bringing a notification system directly linked to the phone's camera setup itself. Pretty awesome if you ask me. So, since then, I've been scouring the internet looking for Android's take on this. So today, I'm bringing you two different solutions to get the closest look to the dynamic island feature working on your Android phones. But as it's still early days, don't be surprised if I do a follow up to this video with solutions that are a bit more complete. Now before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next one. And of course, as always, don't forget to submit your live wallpaper and home screen requests right from within the Epic Live Wallpaper app. Just head over to the Live section and then click on the Request button. And remember to boost your favourite ones using both the Haunt and the Booster buttons here. So jumping right into it with solution number one, the Edge Mask app. This one is a notification app which allows you to customize the look and feel of your incoming messages, giving you that overall curved look. Now personally, I'm not a fan of this solution at all. All you're really doing is changing your notification style and then repositioning it on top of your punch hole. And you can tell right off the bat that your notifications become totally unreadable. Even though it is a simple solution, it's not really the best, is it? But don't give up hope just yet because solution 2 might just save the day. Now I have to say this one is definitely promising. It's originally a Chinese app that's definitely a step in the right direction, bringing us that pill shaped expanding notification just like in iOS 16. So whenever you plug your phone into a charger or connect it to a Bluetooth device, you get iOS's dynamic island animations. Now sadly, because it is quite early in the development, there's still so much that needs to be added in, including incoming messages. And currently, it's only designed to work with center punch hole displays. Just simply customize your trigger point, place it underneath your camera, and enable all of the permissions it needs in order to run correctly. Now both solutions are steps in the right direction, and I for one have faith in the Android community to pull this one out the hat pretty soon. Meanwhile, let me know what you guys think of these down in the video description below. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure to like and subscribe to help support the channel. And why not check out some of my Android customization videos. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.